we can talk about the team a little bit later here, but for you personally, what did that game out there mean to you after the stuff that you've been through? Uh, it means a lot, you know. Every game does, but uh, I don't know, coming back to your hometown, home city, just uh, carries a little different feel to it. It really does. Just landing at the airport, pulling into the city, all this, just the familiarity, all that, I don't know, all that good stuff. It's just, um, yeah, it's a special feeling. It's a good day. I mean, you, you've been uh, criticized a lot here the last few weeks because uh, of the, the losing and everything else. So, um, did you did you need this game? Did you need it just for your sanity? I I think our team just needed to win. I mean, losing four in a row like that, you got to come do something about it. And uh, I think our guys did. You know, we came ready today. There was a good mindset on the sideline. Guys were talking. You could uh, you could feel each other. And when, when we're playing like that, that's when we get dangerous. On your first touchdown run, you both come in motion and stops early. At yeah. what point did that trigger in your mind that you were taking the ball across the line? Uh, about when I got the ball in my hands. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it happened. I mean, it was just some, uh, we were late in the play clock. There was some motion. O-line couldn't really hear right, so there was a lot going on there. But I knew where the play was designed to go. Uh, I tried to give it to Debo. I said, go, go, go. And he just, he kind of just, uh, we, we both kind of froze for a second. But it was, uh, yeah, it was, it was plays like that today. I mean, not, not perfect, but whatever it takes. Well, so when you make the read on the second one, was there something you picked up on that first one that wasn't as designed just in terms of the outside being available to what yeah, the coaches did a great job. Uh, I mean, that we really didn't talk about it. it. was in the game plan, but we didn't really talk about it that much. And uh, yeah, we, we saw it on, on the film, and Deanne crashed, took it around the edge, and someone gave a great lead block. I don't even know who it was. Someone, there was a hard hit on that one. <laughs> Jimmy, you talk a lot about tuning out the noise, and you talked about the team, but for you personally, is it satisfying to have a game where you can kind of quiet the noise? Uh, yeah, I mean, the noise is, it, it's going to be there, uh, good, bad, or indifferent. So, it's just part of the job, but I think whenever you, you get an opportunity like this to come, I mean, this defense was really good, and our offense played really good today too. So that, that's a good team. But whenever you get a chance to come into another another team's house and, and do what we did, it's it's always a good thing. Kyle talks about how the the Elijah Mitchell run where everybody pushed him in, so, kind of sorry. the Elijah Mitchell run where everybody kind oh, of yeah. helped him into the end zone was kind of an analogy of what the team's like pulling together, helping get across the line. No doubt, yeah. I mean. It, that play, uh, there, there's a number of plays today. Elijah played great. The old line played great. I mean, clean pockets, great blocking up front. When we could do that, and yeah, that play really summed it up. I mean, it, it felt different out there today. It did. We just got to keep this thing going now. Well, what's going through your mind as that play was unfolding? I saw, I thought it was like stopped at the one or two. So I, I just tried to jump in. I don't know how much I helped, but <laughs> <laughs> every little bit every little bit helps, I guess. So I think that aligned it most of that time. When you talk about a feeling different, is that is that a rhythm thing? It seemed that at some point, maybe with Debo's big play, that it did just feel different watching it. How does it feel in the huddle when you do hit that rhythm offensively? Yeah, at that, the no huddle stuff that we did, I think uh, there was a number of things. Debo really gave us that spark on that, on that third down. That was a huge play in the game. But uh, yeah, it was just guys talking. I, I, it's hard to point to one thing in particular, but guys talking on the sideline, feeling each other, just getting on the same page and rhythm. Like you said, it's that's when we're at our best. And you know, whatever it is, Kyle was on fire today with the play calling. It was just it's a perfect storm type of thing. Did you ever throw the ball in the stands before? Seattle two years ago. Yeah. Oh. Okay. After we won the yeah. So. <laughs> <All> right, <all laughs> right. It's just when I get really excited. Yeah. What's the, <laughs> do you know the fine amount there? I uh, oh. Yeah, I don't know. We'll find out. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to say too much, but yeah. Because just more emotion because you're coming home. I mean, there's a, from the spike and then throwing in the stands. Is that kind of where all that comes from? Yeah, I, you know, my college roommates were sitting in one of the in that end zone, so uh, I don't know. Hopefully, one of them caught it. But <laughs> that was just uh, it was so much emotion. I mean, I'm not used to really running them in like that to begin with. So when it does happen, it was it was pretty cool. Did you have people reach out to you this week, like specifically anybody in the area, um, wishing you luck or? Yeah, yeah, a ton of people, a ton of uh, you know, friends from home, friends that I grew up with, uh, high school basketball coach right here, Como, was sitting in the building. So, <laughs> yeah, it was it was really cool. It was just um, I don't know. I love coming back here, love the city, and it's a fun place to play, man. And you got a couple more. Did you have it with you? Say it again. How many people did you have here? Uh, I only had to buy like twenty tickets, but there was easily over hundred. I know, so it was it was a lot of Niners people out there. There's some. Some bread out there in the stands today. Before those kneel downs, you guys had over 470 yards of offense, average over nine yards per play. Uh, everybody was getting going. You were extending plays. Is this the type of performance that you guys can build off of moving forward? And how does it feel to be the best running quarterback in the stadium? 
don't know, Justin has a couple nice runs today, but uh, <laughs> no, yeah, when we could when we could get in rhythm like that, that, that is when we're, we're doing well. And, you know, I think it starts up front with the old line. Those guys set it off for us, got the run game going. We got into a rhythm with no huddle stuff. And yeah, like I said before, it was just a perfect storm. And you know, that's how we have to play going forward now. And your basketball coach is okay with you choosing football? <laughs> yeah, I mean, he, uh, yeah, I think so. Okay. <laughs> Quick follow up. So, Mike McGlinchey has got a bad rap. And, you know, he has, he's been making, like, he hasn't made the poor type of plays that, you know, has been happening lately. Can you just talk about his performance this year? Because it seems like he's playing really well. Yeah, I mean, uh, I mean, the, the, like I said before, the noise is the noise. It's, uh, you know, when you're losing four games in a row, you deserve all that. But, just, you know, the O line, give them their credit. Those guys played great today. And, Without them, we couldn't do what we do offensively. So it starts with them up front, it always will.